what's up y'all it's dr paul we got results for the interior paper mending that we did on this cover for superman number nine that belongs to our friend noah we'll just take a quick peek here at what we have so far i'm quite pleased with this so we mended the interior the cover stayed pretty square and it stayed true dimensionally here this is exactly how wide we needed it to be and you'll see we've got really good bonding with the Tengujo and you can see this interface right here this is the edge of the Tengujo you can see that it's it has a little bit of a hazy look here right similar here um, but everything stayed square we have good bonding this is the tear that we mended looks good there are a couple other tears here we could have mended from this side but we'll get in later steps and i think along this edge too i wanted to get this main piece of tengujo down the middle to make these two pieces one again and i'm really pleased with how we brought this paper together and how it's all held right now now this is just held with methyl cellulose which is a glue but it's not a particularly strong glue. I think in the end, we're probably going to lay some wheat starch. This is the product that I use and I do have an affiliate link in the description. I think in the end, we're probably going to make mix up some wheat starch and re-glue all of this once we have the pieces on the other side. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, now that I have a base, which is combination, the pieces of paper we laid in, the backside, and the Tengujo paper, I'm going to lay this exactly where I want it. Again, dimensionally square. I'm going to get this damp so that it lays down nice and flat, and then I'm going to lay in those pieces of paper here. And again, I'm just gonna lay them in with methyl cellulose today. And that'll bond them all together. Then we'll do Tengujo on this side with wheat paste. We'll probably wheat paste the other side, finish up mending from the other side, a couple of these little tears along the edge. And we'll be pretty much done with this. So. Like I said, today, my goal is to get most of these pieces just laid in with methyl cellulose. Now that we have a, we have everything oriented correctly, held together with this tin gujo bridging it. So I'm going to go off camera to just lay this down on Holitex, get it damp, and then we'll start placing those pieces in. All right, I've got a piece of Holitex on my craft mat. I've got the paper, the actual cover lined up with this line here and this line here indexing off the bottom and the right hand side. I'm gonna try to hold this edge. We know we'll have some curling as I wet this and I'm just gonna spray it with water. I've explained this in earlier videos. This is not necessary, but it's how I like to do it. The reason why is because when we put the pieces in with the methyl cellulose, they're going to be wet. That's how they have to go in. The methyl cellulose itself is 98% water. If we add that wet material to a book that's dry, then the book will start absorbing that material along that interface. 
and we'll get some dimensional instability as pieces shift relative to one another. And I don't want that. So what I like to do is when I'm doing these gluing steps, I like to wet everything and have everything be wet so that when we dry it, it's gonna dry together and have better dimensional stability. So that's why I'm doing it this way. You can tell here just how similar. And in the last video, I misspoke at one point and I said Hollytex when I meant Tenkujo, or maybe the other way around. Maybe I said Tenkujo when I meant Hollytex. But it is kind of remarkable how similar the materials look and how once you get them wet, they'll just basically disappear. Like this is actually Tengujo on top of Holytex, and you can't really see either of them. There's just a little bit of translucency there. All right, I'm gonna let this edge go out because this is where we did our repair work. It seems to be set where it is and doesn't really wanna move. So I'd rather move this edge out. So we're gonna let that float. You remember last time that was true too. Water expands a little bit as it absorbs the water and it's gonna go just fat of this line a little tiny bit. And it's gonna go just a little bit closer to this line over here now that it's wet than it did when it was dry. And that's perfectly fine. This paper is starting to get where I want it. My goal is to have this be pretty flat when we do the addition of these pieces. All right. I think it could use a little bit more water. So again, like last time, I'm gonna put all this water in, we'll let it absorb, and then we're gonna blot off the excess so we don't have like standing pools of water. So we want the paper to be uniformly damp. So that's gonna take a minute to set up. I'm gonna let that set up off camera and we'll be right back and continue this. All right. This is pretty uniformly wet now. And I'm just gonna sop up the pooling water. So that it's uniformly damp. This is the raw paper surface, so I am going to be a little gentle with it. <clears throat> and of course, along this edge, that's the paper that's just set in place, held with the Tengujo on the other side. Now that Tengujo and paper bridge is just held together with, as I mentioned, methyl cellulose. And when you wet it, it does loosen up some. If we really wanted to shift any of this, now would be the time to do that. And I have a little confession I saw a piece that had shifted a little bit the way I didn't want it when I was off camera and I moved it. It was right in here. This piece and that piece, a little gap had opened up and this piece was a little bit over relative to where it's supposed to be. So I corrected that. That's another one of the benefits of doing this this way is I can go back and subtle shifts of the paper I can accomplish. So I'm gonna start putting the pieces in. Wet paper's weak paper, remember, so I don't think I'm gonna be in a position to wet these pieces first and then lay them in. 
So I'm going to be placing them. Then we'll have to spray them. We'll get them the way we want them. Then we'll probably do a little bit of dabbing and we'll glue them. So the process will be a little bit back and forth. I'm going to start off with this piece that I know goes here. And this is curled up in a way there shouldn't be a gap here. This should be closed up. So I'm going to see once this is wet, how much I can manipulate it and get it where I want it. Okay, so that's about where that needs to be. And then I want to be able to slide this. I want to hold this in place and see if I can't slide this piece over where I want it. There's a little piece of pulp that is should be behind there, but I don't think we're going to get it behind there. So I'd rather remove it than have it in the way of our artwork. I think I might switch to manipulating this with this brush. Right. Okay, I think that's pretty good. And this isn't lining up perfectly here, but actually maybe it is because that's a craggy mountain. So I don't know exactly where the mountain is supposed to be. That looks pretty darn close to me. Right there. All right, that went reasonably well. We'll just continue to place pieces like that. That piece goes right there. disappears. Got that in the right spot. All right. This piece, my, my landmark is the hoof right there. Okay. I'm going to continue to just do this nice and slow. I got that hoof where I need it. Now I'm just gonna see if I can't get the other pieces of the pulp where they ought to be. Without ripping the paper or causing any other problems. a little bit of water on my brush so that I'm not rubbing a dry brush on a wet piece of paper. Right. Okay. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, the mile or the landmark here is a little bit of text there and there. Then obviously this line. I think it wants to be down just a little tiny bit. Yep. OK. 
Okay. Happy with that piece as well. And that is coming together. All right, this one here is pretty straightforward. Those of you that tuned in for the uh, Omega watch, I apologize. I don't have anything to wear today. I do feel a little bit naked being on camera without at least my middle management at best, Omega. But um, I mentioned before in the channel, I'm I'm moving, and I'm in the middle of a move. I've moved part of my studio already, and I happen to have moved my watch collection, and came back to my old studio just to wrap up a few things. I'm gonna sh this will probably be my last video, or one of my last videos here at the old studio. So it is what it is today. All right. Here's one of the landmarks we were really trying to get right. Super unfortunate that this number nine had been lost to that tape. And it was one of our major goals to restore it after we removed the tape. And I'd say all things considered, I'm very happy with that. It's not perfect, but we weren't the ones that put the tape in place. We're just the ones trying to undo the damage that was done by the tape. So we could hardly be blamed for it. All right, now I have the piece of paper that goes right here. It's nice when you have these little landmarks with just that little edge of the S. You can get that right. It really helps in rebuilding the image to have those little things tie back in. little visual cues that you'd like to get right if you can. So we'll do our best. Now, that little bit there, I'm going to look for. All right, I didn't find that piece just yet, but I've got this piece. And the landmark here was it lined up perfectly right there with that piece and we knew that that one was in the correct place Okay, sort of coming together. The haters might have to admit we did okay. We'll see. I'm just kidding. We don't really have haters. All right. I think this piece goes right here. That little tab will come over.
Yep. All right. This little piece definitely goes right here. goes right between those. I think this piece should be down just a little bit. I'm going to try to shift it. Yep. And we'll get these to align just a little bit better. here but not quite up top yet so we're gonna peel this remove it but I think this shifted a little bit yeah this one shifted underneath it can be pretty tedious Pull this one up a little bit. I can, causing too much havoc. Okay, and then just fine tune this where these two come together. Well, that wasn't exactly fine tuning, was it? That's all right. We'll get to the outcome we need. There we go. That's really close. This is good, this is good. All I want is just these two lines to line up just a little bit better. So I'm gonna to try to shift this one that way. And if I have to push it or pull it, I will. Gently, of course. And if I have to push or pull this one this way, I will. Okay. Very good. All right, I just got a couple pieces up in here to place. Let's set it down right where it needs to be. On this end, and then see if we can't lay it down. That is still a little bit awkward.
That's better. Let's see when we, this is like the last piece that I have for the spine. Let's see when we set this in place, how everything behaves. well. And we were able to save this tiny bit of text right here as well. Almost a lot of pieces to place. That's an important one. The landmark is it has a little bit of the black from the circle around the number nine and also a little bit of this black line here. We're pretty confident we got that in the right spot. All right, we have a couple of fragments that go I think this one goes here. And then we have a piece we can put right here. To help define that edge. And I have one last piece. This was all mushy up in this area. But I do think that this came from here. And again, it'll help us define some of the space. I'm a lot of pieces. So... All in all, I think that's pretty good. I think we should go ahead, get some Tengujo paper on there and apply some glue and get this buttoned up. I'm gonna prep a few things off camera. All right, we've got everything backwards started. I'm really pleased with this. Videos run a little bit long, so I think I'll call it a day here with respect to this video. And then in the next video, we'll get these pieces down with some wheat paste. And we will get some Tengujo paper over it and be well on our way to having this back together and sending it back to Noah. Thanks for sticking with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Tell a friend about the channel. And until next time, take care of one another.